Hi everybody, I've been playing around with Spectrum Analyzer, the original and classic <clears throat> Spectrum uh, before we had QSpectrum, and uh, finding that it may be enough for me, possibly, um, without involving the astronomy composite, but uh, it's just a thought I'm having. Um, Anyway, uh, let me just show you what I'm, I've been backtesting, a simple backtest method. Um, I've got data all the way up to the present, uh, uh, September 23rd, 24th, and <clears throat> just setting the LBC back to July, and I'm going to be doing a forward test backtesting here. Um, so let me just show you what I'm up to here. If I run the analyzer, which is so great that it's fast these days, and just start looking at these peaks, I'm going to uh, click here um, and notice this is going in the wrong direction. So even though it's a high peak, I'm going to discard it. And uh, this is much better. So it's catching the major downward trend. And the other part of this is I like the, the curve of this to be in this direction um, rather than in this direction down. So um, just looking at the next one, notice how it's curving downward uh, instead of up over the top here. So I'm going to go with that one and predict that the upcoming week, July 5th through 9th, would be a down week um, and not the blue one here. So let me click set the LBC forward and there it is. Nice down week. Okay, uh, so moving right along, recalculate. Um, and looking at this also, it would be nice, well, this has got a curve in this direction. Um, let's just start clicking through and just seeing. Uh, that looks pretty nice. Um, They all seem to be wanting to bottom out. Yeah, that's starting to get off now. And these later um, peaks are uh, not, not so good. Uh, the first two I like a lot. Somewhere clustered around uh, seven to eight days. Um, so here's a refinement I want to show you. Uh, if I get rid of everything and click this peak and do a WFA on it. Whoa, 94.9995. Um, and one over, let's just check that. Still good. Uh, going back this way, let's see what that does. 56. So let's get rid of that and so let's see what happens if I keep this. Again, just looking at some of these later, um, this is completely wrong here. Um, This isn't so bad, this green one, but um, it's WFA. Let's take a look here. It's 59, so I'm going to go with the 95. Um, this one. Okay, and let's see what happened. Uh, 
Uh, nice. Okay. Wow. Uh, so we have a down action until Thursday and then up. So uh, that very high WFA on that uh, shorter cycle. Um, let's get rid of those two and this one at 7.22 days. Um, again, let me show you the WFA on it uh, right here, 95% resulted in a very accurate next week forecast. So that's the process. I just go along and recalculate as we get to the end of the week. We're using 30 minute data on the Euro USD. Um, and I'm looking for one week, intra-week swings. Um, uh, it could be one continuous trade up or down or a swing midweek, basically. Uh, so let me hit recalculate here. Um, starting perhaps here, let's just again notice that this is a swing in this direction and that's not good, so we'll get rid of that. Let me look at this tallest peak back here. Huh, that's looking quite nice actually. Um, I wonder what the WFA on that is. It's not bad. Let me try this peak. Uh, not good. Not good. I'd like to push this red line a little further. So uh, what I do next is, let me uh, get rid of that. Uh, just experiment by clicking around to seeing if I can push that. Yeah, like that. And the F WFA is coming up. Hmm. Let's see what happened here. Hmm, not good. So, um, not perfect, but it's a thought of something I'm working on right now. Um, just looking at the it would seem that this curve looks awfully good. Um, that's this one. wonder if there's anything else in here. It's a more gentle. Yeah, that's, that's much better. Okay. So the, the issue at hand is a visual analysis and trying to figure out um, how to kind of visually fit um, the spectrum analyzer curves, uh, the peaks that I encounter here, and not necessarily the tallest ones. Um, and uh, eliminating the ones that are in the wrong direction and then fine-tuning using the WFA button here. I'll look at that. Now this is a minus 97 on that. So that's a very strong indication. That's good. Um, the fact that it's a minus, though, it doesn't bother me. Uh, it's, it's just a strong cycle that is fitting this curve here. And that ended up doing 
perfect perfect uh, prediction, as, as perfect as one could expect here. So uh, just a thought, something for you to play with, and um, let me know how you make out, and catch you on the next one. Take care.